Welcome back to the servicing of the President Walker ASC. This is the receive side of the video. Now this, unlike the TX side, has got quite a lot more adjustments which we can do something with. Um, right. We will start with, at the moment, the signal generator is at 10 microvolts. 3, 1. Point three. Well, that's pretty good going. So I've got this set up to a cyanide meter. But I don't know. I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to have an experiment. I'm using instead of using the test set cyanide meter, I've hooked up a standalone one as well, and we'll see if we can get it in the picture. There we go. So with the cyanide instrument in view. We'll go through these coils. I can't see what they're called, but you will see there are one, two, three, four, five, which are for the receiver there, and then presumably that's the detector or that one. We'll find out in a moment. So I've got the signal generator. So the idea is you're always going to have the lowest signal possible. So if we turn down the signal generator anymore, we can't hear it anymore. We can just hear it, and as the signal gets better, the cyanide meter indicates to the left. So we set it to the best usable signal, and then we go through these coils. There we go, see there's an improvement there. So I'm going to turn the signal generator back down. Next coil. I think that was me on the volume control. Next coil, third one. Signal generator back down again. Next coil. Next coil. So I'll do those again, just to see whether there's any improvement can be gained. Okay, so I'll, that's 0.3 of a microvolt, 0 0.25, 0.2, 0.17. So the sensitivity is up there with some of the sets of yesteryear, so that's good. The trouble with a lot of digital sets is they generate so much internal noise from the CPUs that, well, they just haven't got the sensitivity which is usable that older sets have. The next thing we're going to do, I'm now stuck between, I'll just have to move the whole thing up a bit, I'm now stuck between, but we'll zoom out a bit, I don't know if this coils the detector or that coils the detector. Now I can't go wrong because I can correct anything I mess up. So what we now do is put a 100 microvolt signal which is equivalent to S9 on and we put this meter into millivolts. I don't know where we are. Oh, there we are. volume on it, it's uh, in between. Or 
or is it less volume? Unfortunately, that isn't going to be a very good demonstration. So I'll be looking at the one on the test set. So I've selected air voltmeter on the test set. And what I'm trying to do is to maximize the audio level, so what, what the meter is going to be reading, on top of looking at it an oscilloscope screen to make sure that it isn't going all funny and that the sine wave remains what you'd expect. So, having said that, I'm going to adjust the oscilloscope now. Need a bit more volume for the oscilloscope. Right, um, so here we find out. Is it this one? So with a 100 microvolt signal equivalent to S9, there's a very finicky little adjustment there, which I've just managed to maximise using the AF meter on the test set that I'm looking at and the oscilloscope. So this adjustment, presumably something to do with the IF, so I'll just make sure that that's optimum, which it is. So there we are. I'll switch this off and move it out of shot. So the next thing we're going to adjust is the S meter to make sure that S9 is 100 microvolts. So we've set the signal generator to 100 microvolts, and this should read S9. It's just slightly low. Let's see if you can see that. It's about 7.5, isn't it? So the adjustment for the S meter is next to the transformer is the left hand adjustment. So next to the transformer there, which is modulation transform for AM, it's the left hand adjustment. So I will that brings us up to S9. That's now calibrated how we want it to be. So we've done the receiver, and you saw it improve. But of course, I've, when you're setting these for 80 channels, you're doing a compromise. You're going to tune them on channel 1 of UK or channel 40 of EU. But because we're only going to be using this on the UK channels, we're tuning in the centre of the UK band. So we've now made the EU band less sensitive. But that's great because we, it's us who's using it. So, um, that brings us to the squelch. Turn the signal generator off, set the squelch threshold on the radio. Switch the signal generator on. And it actually comes in at one microvolt, which is excellent. That's really sensitive squelch. Now I'm gonna turn the squelch to full. and advance the signal generator, 100 microvolts, 300 microvolts, one volt, three volts, it comes in at three volts, that's fine. Because what you don't want is a squelch, which when you turn it to full, it never ever comes in. Now, 
had that been needing adjustment, then I will just tell you which one it was. And it's the one we've just adjusted the one next to the transformer there. I'll just zoom in to help you. The one to the left is the squelch preset. Now it has an auto squelch position. So I'll switch it to auto squelch, which is now on. Let's see how that works. Well, it comes in at 3 microvolts and it goes off to about 1.2 microvolts. So that's fair enough. If that's adjustable, and there is that possibility, I will just tell you where I think it is. And where I know it to be is in fact the adjustment just there. So we've had the RF meter, the squelch, and the automatic squelch preset. And I think that covers everything there is on the radio. So it's receiving very well. Just go back to where we were. 0.15 of micro, 0.16. So, yep, that's very good. Of course, the proof of the pudding will be in the eating, as they say. And... I will just plug it into the aerial, but to be honest, all we get here, and I'm 35 miles from Nottingham, is all we get are the Mike Kears and the Burner Brigade from Nottingham who sit on 19 all day and make it unusable for others. I mean, the original protocol was you go on 19, call for somebody and move channel, but they don't seem to do that in this country. So we stick to one channel, as you all well know. Right, let's see what's there. Nineteen, Roger. Not a lot going on on my aerial blue down. So, we'll do an on the air test and we'll do that uh, on Sunday afternoon when Mr. Chip is here. Thank you for watching. Hope that's helped you understand the adjustments of the receive section of the President Walker ASC.